all right y'all welcome black adonis games um i'm going to show you guys uh my menus right quick and then uh i'm gonna be working on them a little bit and i can show you guys a little bit of how i do what i do here in the menus so i'm gonna go ahead and press play i did add some music uh still working on all this stuff so it's just me so I'm, I'm composing the tracks everything and doing everything so bear with a brother um but when i pause okay i got this menu that i did here and if you've been watching and keeping up with me you know that just like two days ago this menu was was pretty much different so um add a lot of motion and things to the menu and uh, I'll be breaking some of this down um, I'm not gonna break everything down but I'll break some of it down um, it does involve the new uh, Niagara um, the particle UI plug-in that they're giving away on the marketplace so definitely grab that man this is uh, about to change the game for me um, but anyway, uh, if I do save and quit, this is my main menu here so far. I mean, nothing is etched in stone for me yet. And I'm digging pretty much everything about it. Um, I got it, you know, where it's rotating a little bit with the color and stuff. And I kind of dig that. But what I really want to do is I want the whole screen color to kind of just vary around a little bit. Kind of like screensaver-ish, you know? So that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me get up out of here. Every time I come up out of that menu, man, it has me in the, underneath the ground. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do now, uh, we are in a test level. So I have done a little bit of work at a test level, as y'all going to see when I press play and stuff. Um, I glassed it out and stuff. Glassed out SB's whole little hookup here. But um, so what we're going to do is go into the widget here. This is the widget that I was working in. And. All this stuff takes place down in animations. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, this little color node. And all of them work exactly the same way. Um, if you were doing it from scratch, you're literally gonna add an animation track by clicking this. It'll give you a new animation track. And I'm gonna do this one and then delete it because I don't need it. But I'm just gonna show you guys. Then you can name this whatever you want. Then you highlight whatever you want to animate on the track. So say I want to animate uh, just this uh, this text right here, okay? So I can add that text to the track. I will have to highlight the track and then say add track while this text is highlighted. So then while it's highlighted, then you will see here. It says lesser text, lesser text, canvas panel slot, I usually I mean I usually just pick this one it works fine for me I haven't had any uh, reason to pick the canvas panel one yet um, I'll do a little bit more research and figure out you know what the true true difference is but this one has worked for me so far and basically what you do is when you want to move this here you want to now that we've added it you go click on track here and when you click on track it's going to give you all the options that are available which are things that are in the settings over here on your right hand side in the panel most of these things are things that are here but now you can automate them so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh let's see that text we want to move it so we're going to use transform okay so now um it's already sitting at zero so any move that you do away from here you're going to change the value so um, basically the way that I do it is I just move it over to the next place that I want to start at okay and then we go into transform and then you pick the X or the Y whichever way you want it to move so if you want it to move with the X you move this value and you will see that that text starts to move left and right or horizontal and then if you want the vertical movement up and down it's this one okay so what we just did right now I'm gonna actually change these values to something away so let's make this one like 
I'm going to just move it until it's over here off the screen, okay? So now text is off the screen, okay? And this is real simple. Um, you can move it down or up to, like I could say, hey, I want to go ahead and move it like this. I don't even know where it is, okay? But I know it, it's moved, okay? So now if I move, uh, if I go here, you will see that that text leaves off the screen. So now if we press play down here, boom, your text is gone. That easy, guys. Just, just did an animation that easy. Now, if we put it on looping, obviously, you can see it loop and go there. Now, if you wanted to add some more creativity or curve to it, you literally would just go between these two. And what, to really make it smooth, what we could do is move these down even farther. So um, you can grab, let me see if I can do it with these. Yeah, you grab one of these. There you go, one of these keys, and you can just move them. So now, if we separate these, and you go and watch it now, it's going to move a little bit different. See how it's moving a little bit more horizontal before it, it goes down. Now, if we really wanted to make that more drastic now, we could go to this value here, which is the y-axis, and we can move it even more in its direction. So now, it's going to go down even faster. So now see how far down it is and how quick it's going in a downward angle now. Or if we wanted to, we can move that angle up and you will see kind of the way it's going to go. Like we can move it up like this and then it'll go up and then go down. So see, now it's going up and down like a bounce. So that's pretty much all you do to animate um, with the color that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need this. I just want to show you all how I do it. But the one that I am going to be working on is um, I already have a color set up for the uh, font here, for the large font, the TLG. So all I'm going to really do is I'm going to go up in here and I'm going, uh, I got my first value here. I'm going to choose background because this is what I'm working in. So I did the same thing. I just created, went here, hit the track, grabbed background, popped it in. Okay, went to the background image. Let me get back on the right one here. And then I literally just clicked on this and put in color and opacity. So now we got this here. And uh, all I want to do is mess with the color. So this is the color that it starts at. Moves here. Say I, I, by the time it gets here, I want the color. We can move this to be maybe that shade. Maybe a little darker. Okay, um, and I'm just going to move it down the track some more, and then I'm just going to change the colors a little bit, you know, just to make it do some various, various colors. Okay, and my, my concept, I want to try to keep the skin kind of looking of the right color, so I'm not drifting too far. I'm just doing, you know, some little colors here and there, you know. So there we go, and that's a little bit greener. Okay, and then... Let's go to the very end of the track here. And at the very end of the track, um, we can put everything back at one. Okay, so for the end of the track, we'll put everything back at one. All right, so now if you move this, you will see that that color just changes just a little bit, just enough to make it fly. So now, that animation's already in, but I'm gonna show you guys where you go. Once you have your animation done, you literally can go over here to graph. Um, on your graph, you have, if you're familiar with blueprints, you have an event begin play, and you have a construction script on all of your blueprints for your characters and stuff. Um, this is similar, this is the event construct. There's no event begin play here. This is the event begin play for this, uh, for widgets, pretty much. So here in the very beginning, you just, uh, once you create your animation, it automatically will drop it in an animations folder over here. And these nodes, if you go here, this is uh, the animation that you made. So you basically drag this out and you can do a get like this, and then you can come off of it and just type play animation. And then you could play forward, reverse or whatnot. So, um, 
and in here you can choose how you want it so for this particular animation let me go ahead and uh, TLG color is already in and I'll just show you where it is it's down here and I got it set on ping pong so basically when it gets to the end it'll reverse and go back to the other color all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get out of here get back in here I'm gonna press play and you will hear our little music kick in all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get into the menu so So now I'm going to do a save and quit sort of show my menu. So I don't have music on this one yet, but boom, you'll see it there. And now you'll see the background screen. It's doing its own little color flavor there. And we can choose the speed that we want that to move at and things like that. Um, I think it's a little fast for how I want it. So let's go back in. And so here we can literally adjust the playback speed I'm gonna like half it like that I like the the, the processes to go kind of slow okay oh wait a minute that's five we want point five don't be trying to play me alright so here we go so now let's try it again back into the engine here okay and we are gonna go ahead and save and quit okay so now when it comes up boom yeah now it's doing it a lot nice at a nice little slower pace not so fast um, and we could even make it slower than that if we wanted to but that's cool right there for me um, that's it y'all um, I'm gonna show y'all more like literally I'm gonna do something quick I'll show y'all a little bit of how I'm doing some of the other things but I'm not gonna go into the great detail I might do a whole video on setting up that uh, the uh, UI Ni Niagara uh, UI effects. Um, I'm probably gonna um, do definitely do a video on that. Uh, but right now, I'll just show you that we'll go in here, and you can see that I have more. Like I have this one that says Plexus here. And these are your images that are in your widget. Um, and these are basically all the animations. And then of course, these are the uh, events that fire off when you hit your buttons and different things like that, okay? So I'm not gonna get into like how to build and do all this stuff. Um, that's something we can do another time. Um, but that's how you do that. And then as far as for like these effects that I have here, like if you watch this effect when I press uh, play here, it's part of the opening animation that literally starts down here. It moves around like this, the screen, and drags those images with it, and then it locks itself to the middle. So it's the same concept, guys. I just did the same thing. I just created the uh, animation by clicking here, named it what I wanted to, opening animation, open animation. Um, this already came like this with open animation. I just left it like that. Um, and then you come here while you have the item that you want to animate highlighted and you go ahead and you click track. You add that. You come down here. Once you add it, you will have ability to add what you want to make it work. So th remember, this is the only things you'll have available and it's all according to what you're clicking on. Every type of uh, 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 item has its own list of abilities that you can uh, change, settings that you can change or presets that you can animate. So that's it, y'all, man. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'm going to keep trying to be hitting y'all with these way more often because I'll be working on a regular. Like I said, I'm probably just going to start doing some videos of me just working and y'all could just peep because I'll be talking anyway so uh, like subscribe tell the homies about me you know what I'm saying let everybody know that uh, I'm trying to give up some uh, some food for thought up in here for all the gamers young old beginners and veterans come by and holla at me all right black Adonis games uh, amp capo y'all be good